Ricardo, yo soy. It's a lovely fish, look. Beautiful turbot. Beautiful. First time I've ever caught one, so I'm not sure. Well. Absolute beauty, that, guys. Look at the size of that. Five or six pound of that. Absolutely huge. Well, good evening. We're back out again after about a month. Uh, for all the problems I've had, stuff like that. We've uh, decided to come for a, a quick session at my favourite spot, Macro. Uh, there's a few lads down here fishing, I've had a good chat with them and uh, nice lads. Some subscribers and stuff. Um, so I've handed the proverbial tickets out, I'm sure you'll uh, comment on the video hopefully when uh, it goes up. Right, come with my lad, Daniel, the new fisherman to the sea. Uh, Fishing with three rods today, I've got two out and my lad's got one out. He's on the Venom, he's on a flapper, two hook, and I've got a pulley panel and a two hook flapper. We're both on um, squid and cart at the moment. Uh, small bait, small hooks, six ounce weight, seems to be holding all right. Our tide is about 10 to 10 tonight. So we're fishing about four hours up ish, something like that. And maybe an hour and a half down. Uh, I know there's some cod and some bass come out of here in the last week. Uh, whether we hit one, I don't know. We've got the right baits on anyway, so let's hope we do. Uh, but um, I'm expecting at least some flatties. So hopefully one of us will get one. And uh, you won't be uh, one of the old dreaded blanks, will it? So I'm going to leave you on the rods for a while. There's, I don't, there's not much wind. It's only uh, look at that lovely view on the Umber Bridge. Absolutely gorgeous. Lovely sun up there. Brilliant evening. It's uh, still about 70, 70, 70, 80 degrees. Right, I'm leaving you on them rods. And uh, I don't know if you can see all three of them. But uh, they should be in view. Pull you back a little bit. Be able to see the baits. Uh, let's hope we get some fish. Nice to be back out anyway. Oh, it's harder to see when you're looking at it. I can see it. Yeah, you can, but it's uh, I prefer them down. It's only if you got, keep getting played by the dreaded thing for coming down the pipes. Yeah, with a bit of luck, fellas and uh, fellets, <laughs> the lads and ladettes, fillets. and we'll get some fish. fish um, lovely day though, lovely uh, sea conditions. Uh, the lad next to me said there's not a lot of weed about, so that helps. Uh, so there's not many here, there's me and my lad and there's two others that can see. But uh, lovely day, great, great deals.
Right, I'll leave you on the road for a little while, guys. I'm not going to uh, pull you off quick because it's lovely and quiet and there's not a lot of wind noise. Uh, if you have a chat with the uh, fella to the right of me, to the left of me, sorry. So he's getting there.
Well, back just cast out uh, a bit of weed on there, pulled a bit, but I've cast about uh, 10 12 meters out now, trying to avoid this weed and the uh, the run throw. Uh, still a few of us fishing, there's man bait over there, give him a wave. Well, give yourself a wave if you watch the video. Another guy up there with his dog, go some scrabbers, and uh, good luck, just had a good chat with him and that. Uh, it's all good, hopefully, one of us will get a fish, even if it ain't me. But uh, I say there's a few of us fishing, like, lovely day. Yeah, absolutely beautiful day. It's, uh, it's all good. I do like this venue, especially uh, in the winter months when there's uh, lots and lots of fish coming in, but you'd expect some flatties anyway. See, our tide's about quarter to ten. So is it now? It's about two hours forty-five minutes to our tide, so it'll slow down anyway shortly. I think it's only a five point seven or somewhere around the area tonight, so it's a really small tide. There is a bit of that red weed though. I'm just going to spin you around and get you dizzy. Um, you get better views when I do this. It's a bit high for chatting. There we go. How do you enjoy that? You've got some good panoramic views. <laughs> but uh, no, it's, uh, it's a good evening for fishing. I mean, the wind's virtually dead now, there's there's nothing. Still using the same baits, I haven't even changed them, I've just thrown them back out. They haven't been out that long and uh, there's nothing wrong with them. There has been a few flatties come out with you today by other people. But, uh, I mean, it's virtually dead out there, really. But what a lovely evening. A little tiny breeze blowing. Thanks to all the subscribers, by the way. Well, I haven't been on. I haven't been on for um, four weeks. Obviously, my mum and dad died and that, and uh, there's been funerals and you know all kinds of stuff to sort out. So uh, obviously, I haven't been on. Um, first time I've really been out. Uh, so I've come out for a bit of peace, quiet, and tranquility, like uh, as you do, because you, you need this fishing, like for your mental health and stuff, don't you? So. But it's all good. Um, I don't care if I don't catch now. I'm just out fishing. That's the main thing. You know, it's nice to get back out. I didn't want to go to the beach because uh, we all know there's uh, two or three metres of uh, weed coming in on your line at the moment. So, you know, I don't really want to be out there in that. But I do believe the date today is. Let's have a look because I didn't tell you, did I? It's um, Sunday, the 20th of August, and it is now five past seven in the evening. And it's beautiful. Got my lad fishing, look, and he's uh, 
taking some photos to show his girlfriend and that and what have you. So he's enjoying it, a bit of fresh air. I've had my nice dinner today. It's nice to have your dinner for a change before you come fishing rather than uh, having it late on when you've everybody else is had theirs and yours is having to be reheated. I don't know if you've seen this lads, but look down there, look. Forget the paper because there is a lot of it down this end. But look at the uh, look at the weed. Have you seen it? Man? Big black weed. There's a lot of bloody weeds, so whoever's been fishing here in the last few days, I've been pulling some weed in. I'll have to get back on the beach shortly though. Um, I definitely need a beach session. But it's nice to just get back out and get back into the fishing like, you know, break myself in easy again because when you haven't been out for a month or so, it's uh, strange when you come back out again. You sort of like got to get the, uh, you got, you got to get the, uh, the mojo back on it. <laughs> That's improvising with bricks, yeah. <laughs> there is a bit of pull though, isn't there? Yeah, yeah there is a bit of weed. It's not that bad though, really. It's that real loose stuff, in it? So, it's not so bad, really. It comes off easy enough. I mean, I'll be happy with a couple of flatties, me. Well, I'm, I'm Polish, but I'm just on them, uh, just on them. They chucked me in just before he went, I thought, well, he's got two, two or three more than I am, and I'm using the cart, so... Well, there you go. See, it all goes by what rigs you've got and stuff, you see. You are. If he's using two-up flappers, he's liable to get them. Yeah, it's just, to be fair, he, he was all using um, flappers, he had four rods out. Yeah, so I mean we've got two flappers out with a panel, but I've already stuck that panel out because of that bass and that <laughs> and that cod that they brought in, just in case there's any out there. I don't want the footage, I don't want to know if there's any Well yeah, so you've got to have one rod out there looking for one, haven't you? I mean you can still catch them on the flappers, but you're more likely on the panels like rather than the flappers. Because of the bigger bait and stuff. If there's any cod about, I wouldn't mess about with the little ones that Oh no, I wouldn't. If I get a cod, I'm going straight on squid and blacks, <laughs> straight away. <laughs> yeah, but I caught all mine on squid and blacks. Yeah. So it shows you, doesn't it? That's not because you were using squid and blacks more. Yeah. Well, yeah, there is that. It depends. I mean, if you're already using that bait, then obviously you think they're just coming in on that. But you know, I mean, cod take almost anything, don't they? Yeah, apart from mackerel, seems to do brilliant for every other fish. You know, the white and everything. But the cod really seems to keep up better than bait, like bait for me. Yeah, I mean, I used to catch them on garden worms when I was a kid here. Yeah? Believe it or not, before you said that, you know when he comes back to the in his eyebrows. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah, it's amazing, really. Oh, look at this! First rod. My first rod's going. Look. Yeah. Oh, it's pulled round. Yeah, man's just pulled round, I've just seen it go, so it's definitely not a bite. Unless it's uninjured my weight like. Right, let's take a little break for now, fellas. It's nice to have a little chat now and again, like. But um, let's just see if he brings a fish in. Cause he's, well, there must be a lot of shit on there. It's either weed or he's got a fish. So let's have a little look, see if he gets a fish. Oh yeah, there's a lot of weed there. Not liking the look of that. <laughs> That's probably what just took my land. 
You are. That's what she took my line, I think. Oh no, my other one's off. You've look. got it now, a bite on you. Oh, yeah. No, I've got, that's definitely a bite, that one. Yeah, that's a fish that is a fish eight. Let's get that's this one. That's from here, sir. It must be. Ah. That is definitely a fish that it's one. It's all going the wrong it. It's not moved either. I'm having a right nibble on that then. Just feel like a fish. It's sort of a ticket. Well, it's a big piece of, a big piece of uh, that's weed. <laughs> ah, big chunk of weed. weed. <laughs> you know, it looked like a bite from here, that. Did it look like a bite, did it? It's, it's like, like weed with a tampon on. <laughs> you know what? It, it probably was a bite, even though you had weed on it. Looked like it was on though, did it? Yeah. Well, for me to know to sit from here. I'm going now. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's proper bending. Have a look at it. <laughs> I say I think it was a fish, that. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, put my weight off. Put my uh, bait off. Oh, this is well heavy, this. Oh, he's, he's got a shark on his. <laughs> he's got an hammerhead. Fucking hell. You have been known to frequent the waters, you know. I got that claw on my mate lost a few weeks ago down there. <laughs> claw on Yeah. I don't think there's that one. I think it's just weed. Give me a rod eye because you'll lose your, you'll lose your gear. Yeah, you've got to stop landing down here, you'll lose it. Keep going. You've got to stop landing, you've got to stop. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> You anybody swearing by the way on the camera, it's my lad, he's filthy gob. Not good, is it? <laughs> it will slow down though, it always does. I'm just yeah, so I used to catch loads when I was a kid on it with garden worms. Hey, and they're laughing, when they're laughing, I outdid them all, didn't I? Oh, they're laughing. Let me give me all that. You are. I'm sorry, I haven't done that. So, shall I recast it with a bit or I'll change it? Well, the bit's fair, so I'll be good. Right, we're back fillers after about an hour and a half and about uh, 14 pound of weed yeah. uh, A lot of pull at the moment, uh, it's ripping through quite fast even though we're only casting out about 15-20 metres at the most not even that in fact at some points uh, only just now starting to grip a little bit so it's getting to the golden hour mark what I always say that has 9.47 it's now 8.36 so it's not far off the golden hour so little pleasure boat coming down there look probably been out for a bit of fishing whether you can see him there or not well i bet he's had a few but uh hardly any wind it's about one mile an hour if that it's uh it's been great actually for uh, a nice little summer evenings fishing really even though we've had now at the moment but as i said when i come out I won't bother anyway because I'm just out that's the main thing you have a sat on the couch at home watching telly or you sat here for having a go fishing aren't you so i'd rather be out here than uh sat at home like but um yeah it's definitely holding now i'm basically straight out now there's that pleasure boat just coming in look at him being out there fishing guaranteed Guarantee that I've been out here, we had a few in. Well, I'm moving on to uh, full black shortly. The next cast will be full black, so I'm going to go for some fish. Uh, I'd expect to get a couple before the night ends, anyway. I'm only staying well about an hour and a half after top. 
So about half ten ish, something like that, eleven o'clock at the moment, the latest I would have thought. But it's been alright, I enjoyed it. We've had a good natter and that, and there's been a few people walking by. Just released a crab back into the environment. We found its way onto the bank. I think our my, my lad caught a crab and didn't realise it and uh, it's obviously fell off his hook and then uh, we found it so I've just thrown it back because it was only a little crab I could have used it as bait but it's whether out in here that I'd have took it so I threw it back but it's been enjoyable definitely holding now Yeah. Oh, an hell of a lot. Yeah, I'm virtually at 12 o'clock now. I cast it about 10 and it's about 12. It's probably ripping through further out there, like, but. How far do you knock it out? If yours holds, I'm going to go for it. <laughs> <clears throat> well that's definitely old man, it's still there. Right, I'm uh, going to pop off for now fellas while I sort my torch out because it's getting dark now. And I'm going to bring my torch up to my tripod and uh, light my rods up like a sabre. And then I'll be back. Uh, I've got no lights tonight, but I've got my torch to light the rods up. That's good enough on here. Um, I just tried wanging one out, but it didn't hold, so I pulled it back in and recast it shortly. Um, I will go for it shortly. It's just not quite there yet. As soon as it starts holding, I think we'll get some good bites. problem is with the speed coming in with it ripping through it's pulling all the weed with your line and covering your bait so it'll be better when it's gone and it's all then there won't be no weed sort of ripping through weed haven't been bad like I mean it's not you know not horrendous like the beaches uh, it's only that easy stuff you can get off your line in a couple of seconds so I'm not that worried really it's just sometimes you think you've got a bite and you haven't Sorry, short session anyway. I will be putting this one up no matter what, so whether I get a fish or not. Because I signed out a video up for uh, about a month now. Even though my subscriber count's got up nearly 40, I haven't had no videos up, so I don't know. Maybe I get more subscribers when I don't put videos up. <laughs> but uh, you know, I'm quite happy the way things are going anyway. But uh, it's all coming together nicely. I mean, there's some great, there's a great season to come, you know, in the next. Uh, in the next four or five months we're going to get some cracking fish if it's anything like last season anyway because uh, macro paul and around that area fish fantastic last season can't wait for another session on vicky dock well i'll take a load of ledge with me this time But I know not a lot of people have caught much because of the weed. Um, my last session, I went to Hornsea and um, I only lasted about an hour and 45 minutes and it was just just ridiculous. I filmed it, obviously, but it, there was no to film it. It was just like two or three metres of weed on your line. So, you know, it felt like uh, it felt like it was pulling in a bleeding Mini Cooper every time you pull your gear in. So, you know, that was the end of that.
There's a lot of bloody midges around here, I know that. See if any rats come out because they usually get rats around here at this time of night, although it's a bit better now than it was. I expect one of one of the three of us will get a fish. Or all of us even. Try that as well. Wow, well, we don't usually eat stuff like this. It tastes like pepperoni pizza. It's not my thing really, I don't eat quick. Pepperoni pizza flavour. Take them with you then, because it's full of midges around here. <laughs> midges. Say again. So when you film them, so not being shook, so when when you I'm just talking to you when you're talking, you know, fucking getting you off track. You're gonna get like a little fucking sound, so you know, say, say when you actually are filming, you know, it's put up on Like, see you now, laugh now. Just, <laughs> well, it, 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 rather than put somebody coming up to you, just talking to you and then getting you off track, you know, because then they've started talking to you as you've, you're in the middle of something, and you're thinking, Tell the audience because they're listening to you. <laughs> 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 Is it flashing on the back? That means it's recording, so. <laughs> Yeah, but you cut, all good. you cut it out anyway, don't you? Yeah, well, especially... We haven't got no swearing anyway, so I'd have to bleep now out. No, yeah, but it's, like I say, if you had some, nobody come up to you then, do you know? Yeah, but sometimes that's some of the fun. Is it? <laughs> not the people I've seen. I mean, I have left the, the odd... wanderers that I've seen. I have had, I left the odd swear word in, but sometimes you'll get somebody come up to you and it's every word, isn't it? Yeah. And you just cannot leave it on, can you? Yeah, but we really know them, you do get some up. But I mean, yeah. everybody talks that like round here anyway, but you just don't do it on YouTube, because obviously, yeah. YouTube don't like it. You're supposed to block it all out like, but... Yeah, but I bet that could take hours of your life. Oh, it's horrendous editing, but I mean, you've got to do it, or I'll just yeah. completely cut the segment out completely, because... Yeah. If there's so much in it, obviously... Yeah. It's like how kids sometimes plays his radio and he doesn't realise that I've got the camera on. And it picks that sound up from here, from at least 300 metres away. And then you get done for copyright. So copyright you get you, it. so then, it, well, your videos, you can't make that one your video. If you couldn't you upload it, but, in, but they block that bit out. Yeah, they won't be bothered when you've only got 10 or 20 people watching, but when you've got as many views, what you had. Well, yeah, it's just all like copyright yeah, stuff and that. Yeah, you've got to be careful. See, sometimes I'm fishing and I start singing accidentally. <laughs> And I'm thinking, is that copyright or what? If, if I'm singing it, is it still copyright? Yeah, exactly. I reckon I would have got millions, like. You can never find one when you want one. What flavour are these crisps, Danny? Barbecue rib. Barbecue rib. Yeah, the other one was uh, pepperoni. They actually don't taste the barbecue. I don't know what the taste of, but it's not barbecue. Yeah, but you just had them pepperoni ones as well, though. Pepperoni pizza crisp. Got a real weird taste, but it's not barbecue. It's like um. Do you remember them there when they used to buy knickknacks? Used to yeah, the, I used to like the, the lemon. Um, scampi flavour ones, yeah. lemon and scampi ones. Yeah. I don't think you can buy them anymore, can you? Yeah, they're, they're in Iceland, that's where I got them from. What, they do the lemon and scampi ones? Yeah. I always like them a little parcel they're ones as well, those lemon and scampi. They're a pound for a pack of six. Yeah. There was a pound for the pepperoni ones, Pep uh, pizza with pepperoni. You see, I never eat crisps ever, but... Nick likes, I love them. They come in handy when you're out fishing, it's like a little snack, in it? Because they don't actually taste like crisps, do they? are like, uh, I don't know what they are, but... There you go, throw that in your bag with your rubber. Oh, I need 
need a dribble. I'll have to go over there. Well, you should be able to see them tips, fellas, even with no lights on. I've got no happening at the moment, but... Can't miss them, can you? We're not far off chucking it out hundreds of metres. It's now 50 minutes to high. And it is a very small tad because it's still a good it's a good five or six feet from the top of the wall, so and we all know that 8.2 meters is the top of that wall, so Definitely slowed down a lot now. I'd love to throw one out of 200 uh, metres, but I mean, <laughs> I might hike one right out in a minute just to see. Empty my spool. Do a pendulum cast of Grimsby or something. It's older now more than it did earlier. Yeah, it definitely is. Right, let's take a little break, fellas and fellettes. <laughs> Phillips. <laughs> and I'll, I'll be back shortly if I get a bite, which is, uh, well, you never know. Stranger things have happened. Well, we're back out, fellas. Um, no bites as such. It's, um, it's precisely 9.31, so it's 16 minutes to high. And um, it's uh, holding perfectly now at distance. So I've probably got a good half an hour or so of fishing. And I've gone to this first rod, the Sonic Sport, the black one, is, uh, is on complete black now. I'm on blacks on that one, and um, I'm on wing and um, squid on the other. The one nearest to us is a two up pattern oster, and the far one is a penal with squid and cat. I'm just sticking all the uh, black lug out just to see if we get any interest in just pure black. I mean, we either do or we don't, simples. Been a bit busy on here tonight. There's been a lot of people about. Not necessarily fishing, but there's just been a lot of people about. So there's not much happening at the moment, but uh, we can only hope, can't we? We've got like, I don't know, maybe an hour left at the most. So I don't normally fish here at this time of year. Um, it's only because I've seen a few reports and I've had a few people tell me that there's been cod coming out. So, you know, not in the numbers, but I mean, the odd cod. I mean, if there's an odd cod, I'll have a go at it, you know what I mean? But um, I had a sell for a few flies just to say that I've had a few fish like, but I mean it's uh, few and far between at the moment. I can't say it's one of the best sessions I've had on here, but it's been, uh, it's been peaceful and it's been quiet and I've enjoyed it. It's passed a bit of time away and I've had a bit of enjoyment doing it, so it's all good. I'll take a little break, bro. If I see them rods going, I'll be back. Well, we're back, fellas. 
I am okay, coming on camera because I ain't got no light, so you won't be able to see me anyway. Um, it's now our tide, it's uh, 10 to 10. My mate to the left of me has gone home because he's, uh, he's, he's, he's not had no fish, and the one after the one after him to the left, he's gone as well. So it's only me and our lad left, and uh, we ain't had a bite all day. Um, well, I thought I had a bite earlier, but probably weed, so I'm, I'm going to say I ain't had a bite all day. Um, you know, I know it's a bit early in the river. I'm now on full black. Um, just to see if there's anything. I'm well out as well. I must be 100 metres plus out now. There's no wind. I mean, it's it just sails out there. It's not pulling either now, and there's no weed. So um, I've cast it as far as I can get it, really. Um, it's holding dead straight out. But I'm not even getting a tickle, and I'm on full blacks. And I've got two blacks on each hook. Um so I haven't been greedy with the blacks you've got half a pack on there on three rods so you know I haven't been greedy but uh, it's just the fact that there's nothing out there really but you never know I've got about half an hour left before I go I might just strike into one on the off chance <clears throat> but uh, as I say I'm not I'm not holding my breath because uh, at the end of the day you know it's just been crap all day but it's been crap all day, but it's been a lovely day, like fishing wise, because it's the weather's been great. Um, and I'm not going to get many times that I come here where it's going to be as nice as this, you know. Because uh, in winter, obviously, it's bloody cold, and it's always bloody blowing and only, or raining, or snowing even. So you know, you don't get days like this. Um, what can you do? And there's a lot of frigging mozzies and flies and frigging all sorts about. As soon as I put my light on, I'm getting swarmed by them. So, you know, I'm like a, a sort of a magnet for frigging hornets and all kinds of stuff now. I'm expecting a frigging pterodactyl to come flying out the sky screaming and taking me away, like my legs kicking and screaming. That's how bad it is. But, um, I'm going to tickle off anyway um, because it's not happening. And if I do get a bite before I go, um, I should be back on but if if I don't the next time you see me it'll be uh, to say goodbye and all that lot and uh, how good it's been and all that even though I ain't caught fish so I'll see you in a bit guys it's uh, it's now half ten no bites stayed as long as we can uh, basically it was just there was no fish no bites nothing nobody's had a bite all day but I've enjoyed it here at uh, Macro for my first outing here this year uh, well this season so until next time guys uh, from me and uh, my lad Danny it's a very very good evening from Macro.